Hi Sagittarius, it's L here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing this reading with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so it looks like um, somebody feels left out of a connection. Um, it looks like somebody here is given to two different people, you know, for two different reasons. They serve two different purposes in, they, in their lives or in their life. Um, it looks like somebody is... Um, they have the power in this connection, in this dynamic, and they have, you know, two people waiting for their energy, for their, maybe even their resources, but definitely waiting for their, their energy, their attention. Um, as this person who has the power, it could be you, Sag, it could be another person. As one person waits, the other person feels left out, neglected, um, ignored you know, lack of confidence in, in this relationship actually moving into something real, turning over into something real and true. Um, somebody could have to kind of play, or somebody's trying to play both sides here, um, trying to take the middle ground here, not make a decision about who they want to be with, knowing that they need to make a decision. Um, they feel like it's just best to leave that alone. They'll come back to it at a later date. Possibly when they get caught. Somebody does hook up with somebody maybe on the weekend or they understand that maybe this relationship is just going to be temporary. We could be talking about a same sex connection here, especially with the six of pentacles showing up. There's somebody who's really in for love. This is a love spread. They're really taking a very self-centered, um, individualistic approach to love. They care about their duties, their business their career, what it is they want. Love is taking a back seat. If they do engage in any relationship, it is just for maybe physical, for pleasure, and then they're back on their journey for themselves because the chariot only carries one. It's about self. It's a very, uh, it's a self, um, it's a, a victory for self. It's overcoming, you know, one's challenges for self. It's all about self, you know? So when you get the chariot in a love reading, it's not the best omen. It's not the worst, but it's not the best also. Um, there's also somebody here who could be into astrology, astronomy, the tarot. Um, they know their birth chart uh, very well, or they're just really into signs, um, zodiac signs, uh, if you will. Uh, there's somebody here. Um, there's somebody here who could be, you know, mixing potions and and so forth in, in different uh, spells in order to keep somebody hooked, keep somebody focused on them, on them. Um, somebody is definitely in a relationship They're they're dating. Somebody is dating here to be married, to be, you know, with their forever person. But then there could be another person who's just dating because, you know, um, that's what they want to do. It's something to do. It's fun. It's, you know, it, 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 uh, does feel a need here, feel a need. Um, there's also somebody here with maybe they have infertility issues. I don't know if it's you Sagittarius or another person. There's also somebody who just doesn't want children and the infertility issues can have been self-imposed. Somebody could have had a vasectomy, hysterectomy, um, whatever. Um, there is somebody who wants to run away with you or you want to run away with them to speak of running away that would mean that they are all that this person is already in something obligated to something um and it says just run away let's just run away together let's forget about the obligations and the responsibilities um again somebody just doesn't want children and again the infertility issues could have been self-imposed if they are not somebody just doesn't want children and they're okay with it um especially if this is a same-sex connection if it is not a same-sex connection um and somebody has several different partners somebody just doesn't want children not at this time i wouldn't say that it's you know ever but not at this time um somebody's also 
asking about if somebody is taking birth control methods um are they you know um are they on birth control are they um making sure that uh you know children is not even an option on the table somebody is saying that this relationship is very toxic because all we do is break up and then we make up with an all night sex session mm. So if somebody feels like, you know, we just get back together, we have sex, and then it, it just means that we're back together, but we're not doing anything different. Um, somebody's taking a real individualistic approach to relationships and love. They're focused on themselves, their career, being a business owner. Um, they're keeping relationships outside of their heart space. Like nobody can penetrate their heart. They're doing this purposely, okay? So this is what I have for you. Sagittarius, if it resonates, there's also somebody traveling to see somebody. Um, they travel to see this person and they have fun and then they go back to maybe a relationship. Um, if if somebody is in a relationship, they they act like they're single. They do whatever they want to do. Um, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. Also, just let me know how this reading resonates for you down in the comment section. And keep in mind that I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.